Hey everyone, we are back with another Training Tuesday and this week we are going over the stop and go drill. This one's pretty simple to set up, you don't need a ton of space and it's also a very low round count, so very few excuses as to why you're running a drill as yourself. Basically I have two targets behind me, one at five yards, one at seven yards, with them one yard apart. I'm gonna start on the beep, fire two rounds into the far A zone, one into the close head box, slide lock reload, two into the close A zone, one into the far head box. So basically you're adjusting between close and far targets and uh, trying to be precise and fast at the same time. Again, a pretty simple drill. Um, we'll see how well we can do on this. Get my downrange camera turned on and we'll see how we do. Also, for those of you wondering, we are running the Glock 45 uh, with the ACSS 507C on top. Normally, I have a Surefire X300, however, before coming out here, I forgot that I had it on a different gun, so we're just gonna do, do the best we can. All right, that's gotta be poetic. That was a time of 666. Six. Um, you guys can see that my hits are all in the A zones. The um, headshot at the five yard target is right on the edge. Um, just because it's such a low round count, I'm gonna reload my mags and we'll try that again. See if I can't beat my time of 666 six, six for six shots. There's, again, it has gotta be something to that. So we're all loaded up. I'm not gonna pace over my targets because it's all A zones. If we have a shot outside the A zone on this next string of fire, then we'll know what happened. Um, Again, my goals on this one, basically speed up my reload time, see if I can't drop it under two seconds. Try to get ahead of myself on that reload. So I think because of that hesitation before the transition to a headshot at the close target, a little bit slower, so six, six, eight. Let's see how fast the reload was. 206, so almost to that two second um, part time I set for myself. Now, the, the thing about drills like this is, especially if there's no part time. So with this drill, the way it's written on the card, there's no part time. So you get to basically set your part time. And because this is such a low round count, only six rounds per iteration, Make your part time whatever your first time was, and then like I did, go through, evaluate what your times were, figure out, okay, I had a two and a half second reload. Let's see if I can't speed that up, and with this time, I was able to get it under, uh, well, almost under two seconds, a 204. Now you'll see also on the seven yard target on that last headshot, I did get it a little bit below the A box, still in the head box. Do that what you will. You can set your own standards for yourself as well. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how that went. And again, this is something that's super easy to set up at the range. You only need 21 feet to be able to set this up. Super low round count. And again, you're really just testing against yourself. Now, if you want to win a deck of cards like this one for yourself, um, go ahead and film yourself doing this or any other drill that we've done so far on the Training Tuesday series and upload that to YouTube or Instagram and then tag both myself and uh, Drill Index. In that, Drill Index is the company that makes these cards and I think they are a fantastic thing to be able to bring with you to the range. Um, and once per month, we are giving away one of these decks of cards. I've been super slow on the giveaway videos for the last two months, but I also only had one submission for both of those months. So you have a very high chance of winning if you actually submit an entry. So I think it's definitely worth your time if you spend time at the range, you and your buddies, get out there, film yourselves, take a deck of cards like this home and have some, uh, some better options for training when you're doing your own thing. But anyway, if you want to see more of the Training Tuesday videos, you can follow the uh, links at the end to the whole playlist of them, uh, or you can just search here on YouTube. If you're interested in participating in the Training Tuesday, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel. I try to do uh, this every single week so that you guys can have something new to go to the range and practice. But again, getting a deck of cards like this is basically gonna make life a whole lot easier for you. But, but as always, I hope you got something out of this video and I appreciate you watching.